August 8th, Entry 74, Chapter 6, Don't Fall for, quote unquote, straight guys. So a straight friend, very politely and tactfully shot me down. Lucky me, right? Now, what though? Hmm. Perhaps I'm not as ready for love as I thought. Maybe it's for the best. Still, it would have been nice though. I can only imagine what the future has in store for me. And ideally, I'd like to remain friends with him as well. So I'll just get into the conversation. I'm sure you can guess which one is me. So now, for the most fun you're going to have all night. So, this is difficult for me to phrase, but my perception tells me you have an inordinate quantity of interest in me. Now, granted, I am one damn interesting person, I will give you that, and you could very easily just be one of those lovey people, but you also neglect to ever discuss your interests, which would lead me to believe you have some reservation, and logically I'd conclude it's your fear of the unknown a.k.a. my agreement, so please feel free to validate my conclusion. Also, the word so is such a good segue, you can practically write it to work. Heh. <laughs> yes, I find you fascinating, perhaps inordinately so, indeed. To my own dismay, I am sure. Ah, oh, okay, now to crush your hopes and dreams. <laughs> I'm straight, ha ha ha, but seriously, I enjoy to an, atten uh, to an extent your attention. In fact, I love attention, especially from competent people. But I do like it to be founded on a solid piece of concrete, which, by the way, is misspelling the word concrete. <laughs> so, you were meticulously vague, which is fine, I just hate not knowing things. Well, I appreciate your honesty, and I agree, a solid piece is better than... Well, heck, thanks for making it easy on me. And that's how the conversation went. Any questions? Bracket. I had started to fall in love with another straight friend. He was kind and smart, experimental and adventurous. He showed me new things and I found him fascinating, what can I say? I'd equate it to a balancing act like this. Most of the time, if we're lucky, there is a ball that sits in, on the tip top of a precarious hill. All of life, we try to keep it there, in that temple on the top of that hill. But sometimes a stray wind blows, the actions of others, our own convoluted chemical processes, loneliness, question mark, and that ball rolls down the hill. Sometimes it rolls towards those who are meant to catch it, but many times it does not. And so we must begin the arduous process of pushing that ball back up to the top, and each time, until we get it right. I'm inclined to say that it might be easier for me than for others, but then I'd be lying. How many years did it take for me to get over Z? Afternote, same day. How hard it is to get the ball up the hill again is based on internal resilience and how much one lets their personal baggage affect them. End bracket, end entry. <laughs>